Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are checking out some Enshrouded. This is the newest entry from Keen Games. It is a open world survival base building multiplayer uh, game, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, but yeah, today we are playing for about uh, 30 to 40 minutes, maybe an hour, maybe more. I'm, I actually have uh, my good friend Otter on right now. If you wanna say hi, Otter. Hello. Sick, that'll do. Perfect, we're hopping right on into it. Uh, let me go ahead and join his game and we will get right onto the gameplay. So right away, you're going to notice that uh, we have actually been playing quite a bit already. <laughs> We've uh, probably played like maybe two hours in or more, yeah, pro probably more. I kind of lose track when I'm playing <laughs> when I'm playing uh, this game of the time. Uh, but we've gotten uh, like some pretty decent armor already. We've got some weapons you can see right there. Uh, if I press I, you can see I have a full inventory of things already going on. We've been, I've been waiting for this game for a pretty long time. We actually bought a new computer pretty recently that uh, <laughs> could finally run it. Uh, so I was pretty upset when I first got it on my old computer. I wasn't able to do so. Uh, so you definitely want maybe something a little bit a little bit more powerful than uh, <laughs> than your average, uh, you know, running running a freaking like Word doc computer uh, <laughs> because it, this game gets a little framey. It's a little hardware intensive. But yeah, we're going to uh, do some quests today and get some uh, some stuff done and hopefully build onto the base a bit more, too, because the, the base building has been pretty freaking good. All right, what up, bud? He hates to see his work squandered. This guy reminds me so much of the, the blacksmith. <laughs> what, wait, what's his name? My work squandered. <laughs> Ready, be careful. <laughs> okay, he wants us to enhance our preferred weapon. Um, I've been I've been digging the bow quite a bit. If you go to J, you can see all your open quests. So I have a bunch right here. There's also a really big map. Uh, it's like a pretty, pretty freaking decent size from what I can tell. Like <laughs> just from the bounty oh. box. Obviously, a lot of this is like fog of war, but like it, it's freaking big, man. Uh, we're, we are just in the very first area. Um, but yeah, you got like crafting, you got your backpack, you got your character sheet as well. And all your skills. Uh, actually, pretty, pretty big skill tree. I, I'm thinking I'm going to go kind of like in a Beastmaster kind of route. Um, that's kind of where I lie personally, because like I got two dogs myself that... Uh, I think makes me our beast master in real life and I, <laughs> I like any game I can use a bow in so this is kind of like my territory over here all right so the first quest we're gonna do is hunter becomes the hunted because we get a, a hunter as a as a person who's essentially like a workshop that's who this guy is he's he's kind of like a blacksmith who makes a bunch of stuff for you um if you got if you got the goods he'll he'll give you exactly what you need um but yeah we're gonna get a hunter and hopefully have uh you know <laughs> just be filling out filling out our little house make this house a home yeah, I also want to get those um, some metal scraps so we can get more chests. So true. Yeah, those those no magic way. chests are freaking awesome. Oh yeah, thank God. That was a really nice like quality of life thing. That was actually kind of cool because it was like a progression. Um, you know, like <laughs> just not to not to call out um <laughs> not to call out uh, wizard with a gun at all, but. <laughs> Yeah, the proxim oh the proximity um, using items was kind of annoying. Um, so, so like your chest would only grab items for you if you were close to them, um, or it was close adjacent. to like you had to be adjacent. Yeah, with a gun. Yeah, but the the magic chests in this game uh, they just grab whatever items you that you need. <laughs> thankfully, like in your whole build area. Right. So yeah, just a little bit like about the namesake of the game, Enshrouded. Uh, there is a shroud in this game that if you go into it, uh, you have just a certain amount of time before you just die, I think. <laughs> I haven't exhausted the timer myself just yet, but you can kind of see it off in the distance right there. That would be the shroud. Here we can, I can fly over to it. I have a, I have a freaking wingsuit. <laughs> but yeah, so when you hop into the shroud, uh, a timer starts and then things can either deplete your Enshroud timer or add on to it, uh, depending on what, what happens to you. Uh, so you don't definitely don't want to be in here for too long. Um, and other than that, man, you're just you're just crafting, <laughs> you're just crafting and exploring. It's a pretty awesome time. There's like bosses. There's um, like what else? There's like vaults, mazes, um, the the whole nine yards. <laughs> like I think you'll have a lot to do in this game, and we've only scratched the surface. I know one Ooh. of the one of the things I really wanted to do, like since since the building is pretty pretty awesome in this game, is make a make a hobbit hole. That was like one of my my big wants, because <laughs> part of me just wants to make this like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I mean, we're kind of we're kind of like squat like hobbits, right? Like our, our the character models look like really like like uncannily short and stout. <laughs> yeah, I think I feel like there was something in like the lore at the beginning about that, where it's like because we're like flame born or something that mm. we're like put in like basically cryo sleep, like magical fantasy cryo sleep. Oh yeah, we we did wake up from an egg. That that is true. <laughs> and so did the, but so did this the, the blacksmith guy. Oh, it's sunset. It's about to be dark. Yep, there it is. <laughs> yeah, and as, and as we said, like it's just a beautiful game in general. Like the lighting effects are all really really nice. Um. Oh yeah, here's a, it's a freaking dude. Hold on, let's shoot him in the head. Oh, he stopped right. He made me look like an idiot. 
Got him. There he is. Enemy down. Yeah, the bow is freaking awesome, man. It's like just a, such a good time. Ooh, we got runes. Thank you so much. Runes are used for upgrading your weapons. Uh, I think they kind of work like like gem slots, I want to say. So you can add like characteristics by using the runes. Um, sort of. It's like you basically just upgrade them and then like the the weapons have like upgrade tiers. And then mm. you when you upgrade them, you unlock whichever like upgrade tier that there is, like whatever it adds. You should make me some shoes, bud. Boom. Done and done. Wouldn't wear our new kicks. We're gonna re replace our ratty boots with some uh, highfalutin <laughs> rising fighter boots. Boom, Elks. Fan freaking tastic. Looking more like Frodo every day. Oh my god, he's already hyper. <laughs> Love me a Coke Zero, man. <laughs> I actually just bought, um, <laughs> speaking, speaking of things that are good for your health, uh, <laughs> I bought a whole bunch of groceries today that were vegan. I'm thinking oh, I might really? try to, like, Maybe not go full vegan or anything, but at least have like at least one totally plant-based meal a day. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe two. I think it'll be maybe like two meals a day that are totally plant-based. So I'm pretty sure my protein powder has has milk powder in it or something. If I had to guess. I got that tempeh. I got that that tofu. Extra firm, mm -hmm. as you please. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and there's like the cool progression thing at the beginning about around like these like tools essentially where like you kind of can't get out of the starting area without the grappling hook oh yeah true yeah it's it's cool that i put that um like verticality in <laughs> so you kind of get locked yeah. out of places if you can't you don't got the hops for it yeah well and it's full terraforming too like all all you can destroy all the terrain and any built object oh yeah check it out bam i can dig up dig a hole to middle earth if i wanted to <laughs> mm -hmm. A Mordor. A Mordor. Oh yeah, Middle Earth. <laughs> I guess I'd be digging in Middle Earth to Mordor. Oh, there's a chest up here too. Let's give it a kick. Wooden arrows. Hot damn. I'll take it all. And a health potion to boot. We deposit some of our goods. Shift R, you can deposit all stacks, so you just make items, item groups as you like in each one. You can just do Shift R and put some all nice in there for you. There's also deposit all, and then you can also sort as well. So there's a whole bunch of uh, inventory management options. So building in this game is pretty expansive as well. As you can see, there's a central hearth. Uh, it's kind of like V Rising in that sense. Everything kind of like builds out from here. Uh, your domain, you press tab, or you actually can just see it right here. Yeah, this red line is where our domain currently ends. Uh, I kind of wanted to make like a little hallway coming out of here, because I think that'd be kind of cool. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, you can see right here, you press Alt, you get a whole bunch of shapes, you can press the scroll wheel uh, and flip cool. through all of these. So I'm going to press on the 4 meter ones right here, and I'm going to switch my building material by holding Control and flipping down to my bricks, which I have made from my crafting bench over there, we can kind of start placing things. Okay, this is a pretty nice long hallway, I think. And we need to add some foundations to it. Oh, that's awesome. That looks great. <laughs> that was so much easier. Okay, just like that. Yes! <laughs> Dude, I, I put these two together and I made like a little like little dingy at the top. Oh, <laughs> a little peak. That's cool. A little dingy. A little dingy. <laughs> a ding danger. A little ding donger. Ooh, I can like add some terrain to the side of this too to kind of like Oh yeah. Have it like flow really there. nicely into the into the side of the the building. Okay, wall torch. Oh, we make a few of these, man. Make like three for now, because I used to just used all our resin on accident. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. I didn't mean no, to it's do fine. that. It's not like that's like a uh, an annoying resource to get or anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm joking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll put one. I'll just kind of put them in the middle. Yeah, I think the lighting looks really, really good in this game. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, but look at that. Oh, that's that really brightens the place up. Yeah, I'm really interested to see what kind of builds people are going to be doing if they haven't already oh. started to make some crazy things. <laughs> I'm sure the possibilities wild. are endless. Yeah, some people have um, they've started to like 
rebuild some of like the ruined um, areas of the game. Oh yeah, man! Look at that. That looks so cool. Being followed by a ghostly torch. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Here, let's give let's give our by the ghost of torches past. Give our boy a little little light over there. <laughs> he was just kind of in the dark for a while there, wasn't he? <laughs> He's all alone at the party, just standing in the corner. Ready to jump off? Let's do it. Geronimo! And I hope you don't like... Oh, wait, where are you going? Oh, Down here? Runs. Oh. I don't know. I lost you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wonder if we get like any of this like ancient building block stuff. Oh, yeah, whoa. that'd be sweet. Look over to the left and right of this. The guys in the on the sides. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Those are pretty. Oh, we're going. <laughs> Oh, it's not oh. so bad. Oh, yeah, he's a little... Oh, my <laughs> God. a little it knoll. Like a, it looks like a giant Ewok. Oh, he knows how to use a freaking sword, bro. Break that guard. <gasps> Ooh. Ow. Oh, I see a chest down here. Oh my god. Oh, hey. Down here, dude. Check it out. Oh. Oh, here's the here's the chest. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Ornate wood bow. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. It's like a legendary item. Oh, let's see it. But here, check it out, man. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you just open something? No. The door just opened. Oh. The eggs, bro. Hey, the eggs. Hunter's location. Awaken the survivor. Dried fur and drying rack. Ooh. All right, we can use our summoning staff to uh, summon the hunter now. Let's summon our new friend. Gotta get our summoning one. Okay, now here's the big question. Where do we want her to go? Do we start oh. a, a maybe a meet cute with um the hunt <laughs> the hunter and uh, and the blacksmith? No, let's have them staring across at each other. You know, like like at a distance. You know, just peeking over the wall of chess. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's ready the summoning staff. We're gonna select. Oh, that's. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. We should put her like right over here. <laughs> they can't see each other. <laughs> there you are. Hey, oh. Okay, hey finding salt. New quest for us. Great. And let's see what the crafting. Oh, we can get the small backpacks. We just need some dried furs, it looks like. Yeah. Um, so. Some ammo types have been unlocked. Yeah, the the scrap ammo, awesome. Oh, drying racks, which I guess we need for the furs. Ooh, a Resin scout torch. Set. Oh yeah, the scout set. All right, all that is it for us for today. Uh, we did manage to get the hunter uh, <laughs> eventually after after a bit of finagling, but uh, you, you all saw it. It was it was a pretty fun time. Uh, yeah, this game has been a lot a lot of fun. Uh, really fun to play with somebody else. So once again, thank you, Otter, for for joining me today. It's uh, making it a whole bunch easier to get the materials that we needed for sure. And always, you know, adventuring with a partner is always a lot of fun. So if you have a friend you want to play this game with, I would highly recommend doing so. Uh, yeah, like I said, there's a link below in the comments or in the description if you want to check the game out for yourself. There's a Steam link. Uh, yeah, and other than that, it'll be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.